Hey guys, it's Hogan here and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install WordPress locally. So what do I mean by installing WordPress locally? So all this means is that we're installing WordPress on the current computer that you're using right now. So this allows you to basically just practice building your WordPress website to test different themes, to test different plugins or test different changes that you may want to make on your live website. So the major benefit of this is you can get started in minutes without actually investing in a domain name or a hosting account before starting to build your website. So I personally use it all the time. It's really, really awesome and it's super easy to use and manage. You can also share a live link. So if you want to share a sort of the website preview with your client, you can do that as well. So to get started, we can go to a website called localwp.com. And I'll also leave in a link in the description. Once you're over here, we can click on download for free. And here we need to choose your platform. So for example, I'm using Mac, then I'll choose Mac. If you're using Windows, then pick that. So I'm gonna select Mac. And here, put in your first name, so Hogan, and then put in your last name, as well as your email and phone number. So, so far they haven't contacted me or anything like that. So that should be all good. Click on get it now and download that onto your computer. Once you've downloaded it, install it and you can open up the program. So this is what the interface of the local program looks like. Now to add a new website, then hover over here on the bottom left, add local site. So let's say for example, you wanna create a site for a client. So maybe new client and you know, let's call it Jane. Click on continue and continue over here. Here we need to enter in your WordPress username and password. So make sure you remember this because you'll need to log in to your new WordPress installation with it. So just put that in. And your WordPress email should just be the email that you are currently using. So creative way 10, oops. And then click on add site. Okay, so as that is setting up, so let's say for example, you want to add a new website, then all you really need to do is just click on add local website. And you can also click over here, if we right click this installation, right? If you want to delete it, you can right click it and you can delete it. You can also rename it and you can also clone the website as well. So let's say for example, we want to delete it, just delete that, right? So this is very, very simple and easy to manage compared to other ones that I've used in the past. So let's click over here and we can click on admin. So this is gonna take you to the WordPress login. So we can put in the username as well as the password that we set in previously and log in. Okay, so very, very easy to set up and use. I'm just gonna add that in. And here we have a fresh WordPress installation where you can actually just start building your WordPress website uh, by following some of my tutorials, which I'll link in the description, or you can follow other people's tutorials. The only other thing I wanna show you guys is if you've finished building your WordPress website and you sort of want to share it with someone, your friend, they want to see what it looks like, then you can navigate back over here and on the bottom over here, you see live link. So you can click on enable. So that is going to enable a sort of live link that you can copy and share. So you can copy that. And let's go back to our browser. Let's go over here and just paste that in. Okay, so you can actually share that with your client and you know, if they wanna make any changes, um, they can actually see uh, you know, the current website and things like that to let you guys know. So over here, as you see, the URL is not a good one. So if you do wanna actually uh, you know, launch your website and you wanna start your e-commerce website or anything like that, then you still need to actually purchase your domain name and hosting. Um, but this is a wonderful way to test different themes and plugins and different things. Everything works really, really fast as well. You can also enable the SSL. So if you're creating like a e-commerce website, even on your local server, you will probably still need the SSL. So you can click on trust over here. And let's just put that in, okay. And you can navigate back to your website and we can download a plugin. So go to plugins and add new. So we're gonna install a plugin called really simple SSL and then install now, click on activate. So no SSL detected. All we need to do is click on reload over HTTPS and we need to log in again and we're going to go ahead and activate it. Let's log in again. Okay, so that should be good to go. Now we have the HTTPS and everything is secure. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. In my next video, I'm gonna be showing you guys 
how to transfer your local WordPress website to a live website. So if you actually want to launch your website, you'll still need to purchase your domain name, which is basically your website's address for example, yourname.com, as well as a hosting account, which is basically like a storage for your website. And it allows people to access your website 24 seven anywhere around the world. So if you do have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share this video. Thank you and see you guys in the next video.